Welcome to the Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control 12C demo series. In this demonstration, I will show you how to apply multiple patches across all servers within an Oracle WebLogic domain. Once you are logged into Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control, as an administrator with a patching operator role, you can apply patches to the domains to which you have access. To access the patching functionality, navigate to the Enterprise menu, expand the Provisioning and Patching submenu, and then click on the Patches and Updates menu item. From the Patch Search region, you can search for patches available on MyOracle support either by supplying a specific patch number or by providing a product name. For the purposes of this demonstration, select the Product or Family option. Select the product as Oracle WebLogic Server. Select the release as, for example, 10.3.5. And select the operating system platform as, for example, Linux 64-bit. After applying these filters, initiate the search by clicking on the Search button. The Patch Search Results page appears identifying all WebLogic Server patches that match our search criteria. From the Results page, you can review the patches descriptions, access the patches readmes, add one or more patches to a patch plan, or download patches. For the purposes of this demonstration, deselect the first patch and select a couple other patches that you wish to apply to the domain. After selecting the couple patches, add the selected patches to a new patch plan. A patch plan is simply a collection of patches that you want to apply as a group to a domain. Give the patch plan a name such as Production 1035 Plan. Select the target type Oracle WebLogic Domain. Click the search icon and all the domains being managed by Cloud Control will be displayed. Select the domain to be patched and click the Create Plan button. A message is displayed at the top of the page indicating that the plan was created successfully. Let's go ahead and view the plan. Notice from this page you can confirm the patches that we just added to the patch plan. After clicking on Step 3, Deployment Options, choose to apply the plan in a rolling mode. Rolling mode applies the patches across multiple nodes one at a time. This avoids downtime for your WebLogic deployments. The other option, Parallel, applies patches on all the nodes at the same time, in which case downtime may occur depending on the patches to be applied, as not all patches require the managed servers to be brought down. Notice on Step 3 the region labeled Rollback. This feature allows you to roll back or uninstall the patches that were applied as part of the patch plan. For example, let's say that these patches had already been applied to the domain. If by applying these patches new, unwanted problems occurred, you could create a new patch plan with the same patches that were already applied and select this rollback option in order to roll back the patches. In the last section of Step 3, this is where you specify credentials. First, specify administrator credentials for the domain to be patched. Second, specify operating system credentials for the WebLogic server home to be patched. For this demonstration, we have already saved preferred credentials for both, so these preferred credentials will be used in applying the patches to the domain identified in the patch plan. After clicking on Step 4, Validation, click the Analyze button in order to compare installed software and patches against the candidate patches in the plan or validate patches within the plan itself. 
Any patch conflicts, version issues, or other potential problems will be identified after analysis is complete. For this patch plans analysis, we see that one patch that we had selected has already been applied to the domain. And the other patch that was analyzed has found that some other domains that are not discovered as managed targets in Enterprise Manager would be affected by applying the patch as they share binaries with the domain we did select. For the purposes of this demonstration, we are fine with this and will continue on to the final step. After clicking on Step 5, Review and Deploy, review the summary and click the Deploy button. A job is then submitted to apply the two patches to the domain specified in the patch plan. To track progress of the job, scroll back up the screen and click Show Detailed Progress. By default, this status page is set to Manual Refresh. To have this page automatically refresh, pick Real-Time 30-Second Refresh. When the patches have been applied to all managed servers as well as the administration server for the domain, the status of the job changes from running to succeeded. Now that the job has completed successfully, let's take a look at the various steps involved in applying the patches in this patch plan. First, the patching procedure initialized by downloading the two patches from My Oracle Support and creating components in the Enterprise Manager software library. Then the procedure validated if the WebLogic targets were supported for such patching and if all necessary target properties and associations were available. The procedure verified the credentials that were specified in the patch plan and the procedure upgraded Smart Update to the latest version if the latest version of Smart Update was not already installed. Then the procedure staged or moved the patches from the software library to the management agent on the destination host machines. The procedure performed various prerequisite checks at the destination host machines as well. Then the procedure started a blackout of the target to be patched, brought down the target, applied the patch, brought up the target and stopped the blackout. This was done in a rolling fashion across a list of targets in the domain. The last step of the procedure was to collect updated configuration data on each of the WebLogic server homes as well as each of the WebLogic server targets and to store that collected data in the Enterprise Manager Management Repository database.